I guess you could say that this slide won't fall on deaf gears. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Hey guys, yeah, you're back again to get your slides amusing. This week we're taking a simple but effective approach. We're going to make a slide based on information that is correlated to one another. Basically, the gears in the middle here express that each key point works with another key point. So for example, the blue gear, which is correlated to number one gears, works with the lighter blue gear, which is, which is correlated to number two or more gears, right? And this in turn also works with the orange gear, which is so many gears, all right? So many gears in one sentence. So basically what I'm trying to demonstrate here to your clients or to your audience or to whoever it might be, is that each of these points work with one another. And I think it's a very powerful infographic to have to show that your audience, you know, we're looking as, at parts of a whole here. We're looking at synergistic values. And you can use this infographic for many different applications. So for example, you could be visualizing your processes, you could be visualizing your simultaneous actions and the like. Anyway, let's get right into this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is make a blank slide because blank slides are the best thing in the world. They're supposed to excite us. We're the artists, we're the professionals in the workplace, right? Um, we're gonna go to insert and then icons. If you don't have the icons feature, don't worry. Click on the top right info card and you'll be directed to a video that shows you how to get any icon you'd like onto your PowerPoint slide. I keep referring back to this one because I think that's the most important video really that we've made so far. Um, so. We're gonna click on the cogwheel option just over there. Now, obviously, um, you can click on any icon you'd like, but cogwheels usually do it best because they sort of highlight, you know, that uh, connectivity. And uh, I'm just gonna insert it right here in the middle. So I'm gonna blow this image up and I'm gonna make two copies of it right there. Okay, I'm gonna make this one huge, huge. Uh, congratulations, Mr. Pre Mr. Uh, Sorry, congratulations, President Trump now. So, um, I'm going to uh, get this little cogwheel over there and bring it up as well, just a bit bigger. Just make sure that there's a size difference. And this one here, I'm just gonna make a bit smaller than the usual one, so I'm gonna place it over here. Now, you might be asking yourself, but wait, yo, yo, the things are clashing. Oh my God, don't worry. Click on the top left one here and just rotate it a bit to the right or the left or whatever it might be until you get a shape that you're satisfied with. So I am pretty satisfied with this shape over here. So I get this sort of cogwheel uh, set up where you get to see that everything is moving with everything else. Now you can play around with this any way you'd like. I'm just trying to show you uh, what you can do with it. So when you're all done and dandy with that, just click on, click on them all and press Control G to group them up and place it somewhere in the middle here. So I'm pretty happy with it being over here somewhere, all right? And on group that sucker. All right, cool. Now, we're going to make the uh, text boxes that correlate to these points now. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on insert and then shapes, and then we're gonna make this little square thing here, all right? We're gonna make it a bit big, and we're gonna press the number one on it. Um, let's just change the color, set to no outline, and change the font. And there we go, that's cool. Uh, we're gonna make another square, right? The same thing, so we're gonna press Control shift and then move it to the right. And remember, moving it to the right by pressing Control shift and making a copy of it makes it in straight lines. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna expand the size a bit and just make sure that it's just over here a bit, right? So that it doesn't clash with anything. Um, and we're gonna call this one, you know, data title or whatever. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to go to shapes and click on another rectangle and we're gonna make this little rectangle over here, right? And we're gonna make it a very light gray color without the eye line. Now a lot of people are gonna be questioning why I do this. The reason why I do this is actually pretty simple. It's a lot more visually appealing to your audience or to your clients or to whoever for them to look at the data correlated to the title, correlated to the gear. So what, what that light gray color does for your text is it separates it from the white space. It, they automatically find their eyes on, okay, that's correlated to that, that's correlated to that. Don't underestimate the power of design and don't underestimate the power of color. The goal here is to make things look visually appealing while making it easier for your audience. That's the ultimate goal, right? So um, just to save time, I'm just gonna be stealing this text, which is the quick brown box jump to the whatever. And then we're going to reduce the file size, uh, sorry, the font size to around 14. And we're going to also increase this just a bit here. All right, so we're already done. We're already, we're already literally almost halfway there now, or even more. So um, 
Once you're done with that, you're going to press on Ctrl G to group them up and we're going to bring one downwards here and we're going to bring another one over there. And boom. Uh, hold, click them all and press Ctrl Shift G to ungroup them. Now here's where the color coding comes in, all right? So you have number one dark blue, so this is gonna be your dark blue color over here. So let's do that, dark blue, okay? And then you have this one over here, which will be your light blue color. So I'm gonna click on the light blue here. I'm also gonna change these two to light blue, which is over here. And then finally, you're gonna make this one your orange color. So one, two, three, format, change that, and yeah, that looks fine, I think. Okay, so now if you want to take it to a step further, what you can do now is you can connect them all with lines. Uh, you could be happy with this if you'd like. It works fine like this. I'm telling you, it works fine like this. But if you want to take a step further like I did here, you can use the lines that, or whatever or whatever your lines you'd like to sort of uh, bring that image together. Um, actually, I've, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is before I do that, I'm going to reduce the image size of this because I think it's taking over the, the slide a bit too easily. So I'm just going to reduce this image of this and just bring it up to the middle like so and yeah that looks absolutely dandy excellent okay so now we're going to go to insert we're going to go to shapes and we're going to click on this line right here which is the elbow line okay now i understand that you, this, the elbow line is more used for connecting to shapes but you can actually I, I, I hate using the word hack, but I, I don't know. You can edit it, okay, to, to, to make it stand out and, and get the effect that you want. So, for example, let's just do it like this, right? We're going to change the, um, the shape outline to a dark gray color. We're going to make it so that it's the weight is around three points to make it a bit of thickness, right? And we're going to move this yellow circle here backwards, right? So now what we want to do is you want to right click it and you want to click on send to back. And there you go. So you can automatically see that you, cor you correlated that little data title, the dark blue one, to that dark blue cogwheel. And you're going to do the same for all of them. So this is going to be connected like so. Um, and then this is going to be moved here. So a lot of the times you want to just move this to make sure that like everything is perfect. So you want, when you're done, you're just going to right click and click on send to back. And then we're going to have it one more time for our little thing over here. Move that down here. Move it to back. Send to back. Boom. Cool. All right. So we're going to change this to number two. We're going to change this to, sorry, number three. And we're going to change this to number two. There you go. Look how easy that was. That actually took me, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, it took me less than 10 minutes to do from scratch. From scratch, keep that in mind, from scratch. Now, of course, you can edit this any way you'd like. Okay, so for example, um, I feel that maybe, maybe in some settings, although this is an effective slide, maybe we can take advantage of the white space a bit more. Um, what do I mean by that? I mean that there's some white space here and there's some white space over here that we're not taking advantage of. So what we could do instead is perhaps if we were to add another paragraph, so let's say that you have more commentary or more analysis to do with your data or something. And let's just add another one here. And then it's just a matter of us moving these two to the top somewhere over here and moving this up as well, like so. up here All right so from that front you can automatically see that like you know when we have the data um, uh, when we have the data that covers up the right side of the slide and we're taking advantage of the white space it looks so much better it looks so much better like this wouldn't you agree so you really have to learn how to adapt your designs to the information that you have and that's really important now um, one thing you can also keep in mind is you can also take your editing to another angle. So you can take the same principles of this slide and apply it uh, elsewhere to redesign something else. So what I mean by that, one thing that I've done was something like this, right? It achieves the exact same thing, the exact same thing as this slide over here. But this one is just, you know, you're trying to, you remove the lines, you move the gear and infographic to the left and because you're telling your audience, I want you to associate the image on the left 
to the data on the right. Whereas here, you're saying, look for the lines, look where the lines are directing you to. So it's all up to you. And this is why I love, I love, I love this software, right? You have the potential to do all of that in 10 minutes or less. So, so you can't find anywhere else, any other software in the world that will do that. And, and you have the power and ability to do that right here. So yeah, just learn to adapt however you'd like to adapt. That's it. That's how easy it was. We're done. Okay. Um, we almost hit 1,000 subscribers at the time of making this video. I actually made this video on Sunday, so I don't know if we're going to hit 1,000 by the time I upload it on Tuesday. I just wanted to say, guys, it was a fantastic, fantastic journey. And, you know, you guys really, really empowered me to keep going with this. You know, like, I'm still running around wedding planning and trying to get my work done. I'm actually treating SlideCow like a second business to me. It's more of a, it's more of my baby that I'm trying to grow. And... I never thought we'd get over 100 subscribers. I really didn't. And I honestly just wanted to thank you guys for everything that you've done because, and this is not scripted, I'm, t I'm speaking from the heart now. You guys have been amazing. You guys have been absolutely incredible. Um, I truly, 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 truly do appreciate everything that you've given to me from your feedback or to your whatever. And I, I honestly hope that we can continue this journey together um, for the next year at, at minimum, right? Um, thank you all so much for watching. Please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. I did promise you all a giveaway. I didn't forget about that. There's actually an Easter egg right now on this video. If you can spot it, then put it in the comments below. We'll play a little game. And uh, I'll be announcing that giveaway hopefully by next week. Don't worry, it's, it's within scope. You can hold me to it. Um, thank you all. Have a great day. And yeah, guys, keep being pros. Peace.